When producing a video, what's the difference between embed size and video size? Today's Camtasia question comes from a viewer who wants to know the difference between embed size and video size. To unpack this question, let's first understand the need for an embedded video. It's important to know that sites like YouTube and Vimeo have their own built-in video player. When you own your own website and you want to host your own videos, then you need to have a video player on your site. When we're done with our Camtasia video and we're ready to produce it, we often just export our MP4 video file. But because we need a video player, we can also export our video with the Camtasia Smart Player. The Camtasia Smart Player is a collection of files that can accompany a video export so you can play the video on a web page. When we place a video on a web page, we say we're embedding it. When we embed a video, we have to tell the web page how large to make the video. We could have the video play in several different sizes. The Embed Size option is a place for us to define how large we want the video to play on a page. Let's look at this option in Camtasia. Start by going to Export Local File. On your PC, choose Custom from the dropdown, MP4, check Produce with Controller, and click the Size tab. On your Mac, choose Export as Web Page and click the Options button on the right. Here, we can see the embed size for our video. Notice that our video is being produced at full size. In other words, Camtasia creates the video file based on the size of the canvas. For example, if we're editing a video on a canvas that's 1920 by 1080, then Camtasia will produce our MP4 video at 1920 by 1080. Extra files that will be used on the web page scale down the video to fit a specific area. The aspect ratio option keeps the video dimensions proportionate. In other words, it keeps the video's shape the same instead of leaving extra space to the sides or above the video. After we produce the video, we'll see there are several files. Instead of just having a single MP4 video file, there are multiple files and folders that we can upload to our web server. 